Hey, welcome back again to new video, guys. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Samfix YouTube channel, and this is Poco XC slash NFC custom ROM reviews. Back with new video. This is Project Sakura Android version 14 here. 9.2 is the version. It is, is recognized as Karna. It's applicable for both Karna as well and Surya. Device maintainer, you can see Android security patch is a little bit older here. 5th May 2024. Kernel user is 4.14.340. OpenLA kernel has been used. There's a build date of June 11th, it is, but still we are getting May security patch. Coming to home screen and other things, you guys can see. I'll close all these things. I was using it from a couple of hours now. This is how the typical home screen and app drawer you will get. If you press and hold here, home settings, you get this kind of launcher and you get some advanced miscellaneous settings here. You guys can see themed icons, those things are also given here and even widgets are also given here if i press and hold it as you can see you get a lot more widgets still in android 14 we are soon getting android 15 to which rom will bring it let me know in the comment section guys if you are curious about android 15 and camera application here use basic here you guys can see if you want anything advanced you can always use the gcam ports plenty are available for poco x slash nfc and regarding some of the other apps like game space has also been added here it's been there from long time if you go into settings again select the performance mode from here that's how it is and gallery is also pre-installed let me start with the scores here Anyhow, we have touched this 10.2.7 is the and two version and 3 lakh 82 thousand five hundred and fifteen is the score this all the scores 3.2 degrees Celsius is the temperature is 4 percentage of battery has been dropped there 748 is the single score and 1848 is the multi score in Geekbench 6.3.0 is the version I'm using Android version 14 links 4.14.340 open LA kernel has been used here and regarding CTS profile match and basic integrity both getting passed here and also device is certified hence you can use any payment applications that's gonna work fine without any problem again regarding DRM information his data and support and level 1 certification is there watching high definition resolution videos in OTT platform is not a problem again I have 200 Mbps Airtel fiber connection it's pulling up to 230 and these are the read write speed test you guys can see and here disappointed with the charging here charging speed you can see around 11 18 am it was 51 percent it is charging slowly only 11 22 it is 55 percent as you can see and 11 33 it is 66 percent i think so there is kind of fast charging it's around 18 watts only not beyond that uh, simply uh, not liking the charging speeds here and coming to dialer again you guys can see it's a dialer what we can get direct data call feature is there and call recording is there but it will not announce the other person that you are recording the call which is a good thing in my opinion again bgmi you will not get opened directly you can check out my video please enable storage option videos both the videos you can check out how to enable that i'm using jdr chiver also to enable that now i can able to play bgm also and audio effects it will make some difference we'll go into settings here this is how it looks like very similar to any of the aos or oss roms sakura configs you get about project here and about donations and status bar settings you get simple settings here nothing so fancy or nothing so great here the simple customizations are available even in the gestures also i haven't found the option to increase the pill length and radius but you can utilize the 100 mode from here and that's it very simple here quick settings also again you get some customizations here QS panel style tile style very similar to simple uh i can say it's very similar to some of the uh, evolution x even evolution x has some better customization this is very much uh, less customizations available anyhow lock screen is there here notifications even in the miscellaneous you won't get any unlimited high fps count or anything like that or even a google photos unlimited storage is also not available in this room this browser is pre-installed and v music is also pre-installed who will use that in this era i don't know uh, that's how it is and if i go into actual settings again battery you get all these options battery usage. battery life is good i even charged that 
I already shown the results of charging speeds. I haven't liking the battery uh, charging speeds, but battery life is good here. And also you get battery saver here. Xim battery saver is not there though. And charging control is there. Battery light, battery information. Those things are good. Sound and vibration. Again, you get all the necessary options like vibration and haptic feedback so you can adjust the uh, no adjusting of intensity is also not given here display again dark theme there is a pure black option as you can see that's fine in my opinion again colors you get all these options so only three light display is given color calibration again rotation settings peak and minimum refresh are given tap to wake tap to sleep are working fine and these lock screen customizations are given here into the uh, home screen again into change wallpapers you get some of the pre-installed wallpapers very few app grid you get up to 6 into 10 uh, accessibility menu is also given here without actually using the physical buttons you can actually access the volume and other things also you can do that security and privacy you get both fingerprint and face unlock and even app lock no not available here anyhow we'll show the fingerprint unlock first followed by that the face unlock you guys can see both are very much fast and accurate and if we go back again system again you get some of the other options like xiaomi parts here you get clear speaker and direct sound settings also i've heard a system is not there even dolby atmos kind of things are also not given kcl and lcd features just don't use it guys just your battery will be trained and the device will get a warmer again this is how the settings and everything. I haven't faced any issues here, but being it is a project Sakura and kind of ROM, they would have given unlimited high FPS count. I will be showing the VGMA very soon. And even the charging speeds are very much less here. I mean, it's around 18 only, 15 to 18 watts only. I don't know what's the problem. Let's see how it handles in this particular ROM, the VGMA gameplay. For some reason game is not moving behind this point guys. I don't know what's the problem in this particular ROM. That's the project Sakura as you can see. Match server did not respond. Please try again later. Even after trying that I have started again. You guys can see around 73% it will get stopped here. As you can see it's not getting into the gameplay. Yeah it's now going into 80-90% now. It might load I think so. Yeah finally we got it. I have faced that issue hence I want to showed that and show you what has really happened with me and regarding game settings also smooth plus ultra only nothing kind of 60 or 90 fps are given and there is an option to increase that also i really not liking that much this rom in terms of gaming and all and even the charging speeds are low it's very light ua i can say i hardly recommend this because there are no frequent updates for this particular rom also and even in the counter attacks as you can see it's too much laggy here the gaming experience is really really bad i can say whenever it is good i will definitely say it's good it's too bad here uh, even in the 40 fps it's unable to handle that fps here and that math server getting not respond dialogue what we have seen and i've never seen in any of the custom roms i don't know what's the issue with this particular rom as you can see we'll come back here uh, what can i say about this rom is uh, it's maybe people's uh, favorite rom or anything like that but i don't like this kind of particular rom and in the edit section there are few more options also uh, UI wise it's good okay it's not smooth or anything either, but it's good but the charging speeds and the gaming experience could have been improved and they would have added till length adjustment and radius here and the customization could have been added some more customizations again that's my review regarding this particular ROM for this POCO X slash NFC if you have any specific questions regarding this particular ROM comment down in the comment section and share your experience with this ROM if you are already using it as a daily driver we will meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smiling bye bye for now